Hi everyone, it's Cajun DIY Diva and we have a cooking video today. So we're going to make um, the newest thing all over Pinterest. It's uh, ravioli lasagna. So here's what we have to use. We have five cheese ravioli. I have some Parmesan cheese. I have some homemade um, spaghetti sauce, but you could buy some in a jar. But this is a really great spaghetti sauce. I put a ton of veggies in it, and I probably I'm probably going to do a video on how to make this spaghetti sauce. I have a little olive oil and mozzarella cheese, and I have some frozen uh, creamed spinach. That's uh, we're going to see how this comes out because I've never made this before, but I am going to show you the finished product. So a lot I notice a lot of uh, videos on Pinterest don't show you what it looks like when you actually cut into it. So I'm going to show you that. Okay. So I have a little sauce left over from last night, and I'm going to put that in first. Just put some cover the bottom of your pan. Now this sauce had a little bit of meat in it. My family are meat lovers, but this could easily be a vegetarian dish if you just don't put any meat in it. And it would be very filling because there's tons of cheese, pasta, veggies. That would be great. Alright, so now I'm going to get my ravioli. Open this sucker up. And these are frozen. So I think they'll work better being frozen. I'm just making a small pan. But um, you can make a large pan that you might need more than one bag of ravioli like this. And we're just going to completely cover the bottom of the pan with the ravioli. And now I'm just getting every every inch of it covered in ravioli. Some will overlap a little bit just because this pan doesn't have square corners. Now I'm going to do the spinach. You could use um, plain spinach, but um, see this spinach has some some cheese in it and some sauce things. I thought might add something neat to the flavor of it. So I'm just putting in some of this spinach, just a nice layer. And now I'm going to add some cheese. Cheese, luscious mozzarella cheese. So just like a good handful. It's going to be really cheesy because it's cheese filled ravioli. So I'm not going to put a super strong amount of cheese right here. Now it's time for another layer of sauce. And this is vegetarian meat sauce. I mean uh, <laughs> vegetarian meat sauce. That's crazy. It's vegetarian spaghetti sauce. There's nothing but um, olive oil and veggies in this. It's really good. Okay, now let's do another layer of ravioli. You see, this is so great for families that work and it's going to be so much better than, you know, I'm just going to leave those two, those two are stuck. I'm just going to leave them stuck together. Um, families that work, both parents work and are single parents that just don't have time to cook and you want, but you don't want to, you know, not give your kids a nice home cooked meal and with this, you're really giving them a nice home cooked meal. Okay, so here's more spinach. 
And you could cook your own fresh spinach. That would be great. And put this on top. You could put other things. You could put mushrooms in this. You could put bell peppers. You know, whatever you like. Okay. I'm going to do um, another layer of sauce. And then the last thing I'm going to put on top is some more cheese. And I want kind of a liberal amount of sauce on the top here because it's all going to just bake down in there and be just lovely. So almost done. A little more sauce on this side. I just love the red tomato sauce with the spinach. It's so good. Okay. Um, a little bit of... Oh, you know what? I forgot to use the olive oil. I was going to do, um, that's a big boo-boo of mine, but it'll be fine. Um, the olive oil I was going to use, a lot of people spray the pan, but I think maybe uh, that cooking spray isn't the healthiest thing in the world. So I didn't use it, but I was going to just put a little olive oil on the bottom, but I forgot. Oh, well. Okay, so that's mozzarella. Now I have some Parmesan cheese. And that just gives it that extra little bite of sharpness in the cheese. Okay, so this is ready to bake. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to bake it for 25 minutes. And then I'm going to uncover it. And I'm going to bake it another 5 to 10 minutes just to uh, allow the cheese on top to brown. And I'll be back and show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to show you this is how it looks after 25 minutes in the oven. And um, the shredded Parmesan doesn't melt as evenly as the mozzarella, so it looks kind of like it's not all the way cooked. But I, I'm just a forgetful chef today, but I also wanted to add, um, I chopped some parsley while it was baking. And if you want to make something taste really homemade and really fresh, try putting some parsley on it towards the end of the cooking time. So I'm just going to spread this and then it's also good to sprinkle a little of this if you make some garlic bread. If you want to just put a little rub of garlic clove on some bread, a little butter, and sprinkle some parsley and put it in the toaster oven. That it just freshens everything up. I like to put, I learned that from my mother. She would soups or um, gumbos, stews, um, or if she did a rice dish, she would put chopped um, green onions and chopped parsley at the end, and it just gives it such a freshness. So my oven's beeping at me. It's waiting for me to put, put this back in, so um, I'll be right back. Okay, this is the finished ravioli lasagna. Just came out of the oven. It's still probably a little bubbly on the sides. It looks like it may be a little bit watery. So I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll dig into it. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, so it's rested a little bit and it's time to cut into this ravioli lasagna and let's see how good it is. And this is the first time I've made it too, so we're going to see. This is like a Pinterest experiment. And I'm pretty sure, I'm, not, I'm pretty confident that it is going to taste really good no matter what it looks like. Because I know that the sauce is really good. Okay, so the way it came out the ravioli, it didn't stack up the way uh, lasagna would, but it's all the same ingredients, so uh, I think my family's going to love it. I think it's going to be really good. I hope you enjoyed this video, and, uh, you know, get cooking and make something really good for your family. See you later. Bye.